Hi chemists and welcome back. This unit is arguably one of the most important units in chemistry, mostly because you will see so many of these concepts appearing and reappearing over time throughout the course of the school year. So make sure that you set yourself up for success for the rest of the school year by paying really close attention and learning the skill of naming and formula writing. Fortunately, this lesson is just on the basics of naming. After this video, you should be able to list the differences among ionic and covalently bonded compounds, identify polyatomic and monatomic ions, and name them correctly. Ionic compounds are made up of a transfer of electrons. This is how the ionic bond will form. You can identify an ionic compound in a list of compounds because it is made up of a metal and a nonmetal. Metals have a tendency to lose electrons and nonmetals have a tendency to gain electrons. The chemical formula for an ionic compound is arranged in the smallest whole number ratio, which we call the empirical formula. Remember, the formula unit is the smallest repeating pattern within a crystal. And then finally, even though ionic compounds are made up of charged ions, they are electrically neutral, and that is because the number of positive things or positive ions are equal to the number of negative things or negative ions. Ions can be what we call monatomic or polyatomic. Up until this point, we've been working with monatomic. A monatomic is made up of a single atom, whereas a polyatomic is made up of multiple atoms. Remember, these are the charges that are associated with each group. You will need to use these in order to write correct formulas. Monatomic cations have the same name as the element. So for example, if you see a sodium with a one plus charge, that is the sodium ion. If you see calcium with a plus two, that is the calcium ion. We do not change the name of the ending at all for these elements. Monatomic anions have the ending of the element named changed to IDE. So for example, if you see chloride, that's Cl with a minus one charge. If you see oxide, that's O with a minus two charge. Remember, anions indicate a gain of electrons, and this typically happens with nonmetals. You now need a new reference sheet to predict the different formulas for elements um, when they combine in an ionic compound. And so this is a reference sheet that you'll be given every single time. And a polyatomic ion, as we mentioned before, is really just an ion that is made up of two or more elements. These are covalently bonded together and they do have a charge. Molecular compounds or molecules can be shown by a sharing of electrons. We used Lewis structures to show them. They are made up of nonmetals only. Molecules of the same compounds are identical and they're independent of each other, which basically means that they are the same and they are not connected to each other, as in, for example, with crystals. Chemical formulas indicate the exact makeup of one molecule the molecular formula, and that's why we never change the subscripts of these molecules. Hopefully that helped you with a good introduction to what we'll be doing in our naming and formula writing unit. Now you will have some practice. Thanks so much for watching.